Hello and welcome back to Inquisition! We are here in Skyhold, I'm about to head to the Marquis party to get uh, the dude Paraquettes back into nobility status so they can call off the assassins they sent after Josephine like ages ago. So, let's attend the party! Hello! Oh, you're wearing those weird masks again. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Indeed! Tell me. Why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? To win a favor from me. Surely, even a minister could do worse than have the Inquisition in her debt. I am a well-positioned woman. I require something more concrete than vague promises of future gifts. And do not attempt to charm me. I am far too old to tolerate it. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? <laughs> An unforgettable night! No. The army? No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go with connections beyond Relay. Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreo, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall raise the Duparaquettes into lordship. Great success! Let's get the good news back to Josephine. Josephine! We fixed everything! Should be alright now, the Duparaquettes are nobles again, I think. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. Great! I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer? Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. So that's how you met Liliana, maybe? Put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. How did you come to it? What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. Sounds risky. I don't imagine many first-born heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. Liliana? We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You did the right thing. I don't see the fault. You survived, as did your patron. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. No one merciful. He wouldn't have done the same for you. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion, uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. You don't need to! 
I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. Smooth I... talker. Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant, no, I, I don't. Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Oh, she's so cute! Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. Well, Josephine, we're back at Skyhold. Let's continue our flirtations. Leliana wished to speak with you, Inquisitor. It seemed rather urgent. It's good to see you. What? Anything to report? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to Leliana then. Goodbye. This better be important. Taking me away from Josephine like this. Inquisitor, may I have a word? I notice you've paid Lady Montelier quite a number of compliments. Why are you spying on me? What the hell? I do like her. Yes. I enjoy her company very much. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat. Not so she could be toyed with. I'm not toying with her. I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. Then I would be more cautious. Josephine's no stranger to courtly intrigue. But love? There she's an innocent. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. I am. Yes, I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Whatever is between you, I ask that you treat her with kindness. For her sake, as well as yours. I'm glad you care about her. Whatever happens, I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. <laughs> I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. Oh, I thought you were my friend as well. Shouldn't you be happy about two of your friends getting it on? Either way, back to Josephine. My creator, judge me whole. Find me well within your grace. Can I tell her about what happened with Liliana? Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Naturally. Liliana said I was an innocent in love? <laughs> yep. More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. Guess I should have flirted harder. Perhaps I should have composed a ballad then, or sent roses. What? You mean you do? We've only just... I didn't wish to presume you harbored any... It's happening! I'd like it if you did. I have no objections. Presume away. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? The heart wants what the heart wants. I wish I knew, I just need... No, you've made it easy. You've been so charming and adorable. You've intelligence, elegance, and I always delight in your company. It seems most natural to want to be close to you. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lady. If... That sounds agreeable to you. That sounds wonderful. Nothing would make me happier. Is it happening? Well, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so cheesy and I love it. Yeah, so typical. That is so Josephine. Alright, 
I guess we've started a relationship with Josephine. Sweet. I wonder if there's gonna be like a uh, full-fledged sex scene with her. I heard there are with some other ones, but maybe Josephine is too innocent in love to do such a thing. We'll see. Either way, let's go talk to um, Varric, I think. We should talk to him and um, make sure he doesn't have anything else to say about Bianca. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You have? You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. Well, that would be bad, whatever it is. We couldn't have that, could we? Where are we going? I found her, Ruffles. Deal her in. Oh, everyone is here. I do hope I recall. Everyone that's cool. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing Nonsense! can be both relaxing and habit-forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. <laughs> Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? So suddenly copper and silver is a thing in this game. That's odd because I've only dealt with gold. I'll see that bet. I'm in and raising another silver. You haven't even looked at your cards. I'm the Inquisitor. Our illustrious leader is betting we're bluffing. You are bluffing. <laughs> Everyone cool except uh, Viviana Sarah is here. So everyone that's cool. <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. Nice. Uh, I guess Cassandra should be here. She's cool also. But Vivian, she's a bit too stuck up to hang out with the crew. And Sarah, I don't know. We'll see. I've got a story, or Varric can tell one. Varric is the storyteller. Hmm, yeah, go. I think it's our professional storyteller's turn to tell one. I think I can manage that. Did I ever tell you about the time we broke into Chateau Hain? It started, as most capers do, with a trap. Oh, you can't hear it? And then Hawk looks up and says, Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. <laughs> that's how Duke Prosper died? You know, that's almost perfect for him. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. Deal me in two. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. I'm sure Josephine... <laughs> he lost his shirt. Oh, she approves. <laughs> I tried to warn you. Girl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Josephine the whole pot. is amazing you at this game. Do it, my love. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> she was a board, so of course she'd be great at card games and poker faces. And bluffing. And reading people. 
<laughs> I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. You just ran it's off. Too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. At least no one stood to stare at him. He should have saluted like in his story. Um, this was fun, Varric. Very fun. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? That seems dangerous, but I'll, I'll do it. Every time I play, I increase the odds of winding up like Cullen. You're never more alive than when you're about to lose your pants, my friend. I'm in! That was a nice evening. Who is that? Did I win? Ha! <laughs> she was here all along. She was a drunk. Mm.